Hello, my name is Joshua Mutu and welcome to Pixel Make. In the last part of the series, we created three different kinds of jumps. The infinite jump, the standard jump, and the double jump. The link to those videos will be on screen and in the description below. In today's video, we're going to be creating the bullet prefab, as well as uh, creating a C-sharp script, which spawns the bullet at the end of the cannon. The difficulty of today's video is going to be the fluffy difficulty, so it won't be that hard to do. The assets that we'll be using in today's video will be available to download for free. The link will be in the description below. So in our sprites folder I've imported the jelly bean red sprite, which is what we're going to be using as our bullet. So I'm going to drag that onto our scene. At the moment it's too big so I'm going to scale it down a bit. So if we go to the top left corner I'm going to click the scale tool and if I click the middle you can shrink it down in both the x y and z directions so I'm going to make it roughly 0.2 right so now I've done that um, I'm going to zoom in a bit so we have our bullet here so what we need to do is add two things to the bullet the first thing we've got to add is our collider. So if we go to add component, physics 2D, and instead of a box collider, I'm going to be using the polygon collider. You'll see that it's a very detailed collider. So I'm going to reduce the amount of points that are on the collider by clicking the edit collider button. And whilst holding control, I'm going to click each point to remove them. So if you move your mouse roughly over the point, you can click and move it around. So I'm going to position these so they're roughly going around the object. You can also create new points by clicking and dragging in between the points. And there we go. So I'm going to come out of the editor. And the next thing we've got to add to the bullet is a rigid body 2D. So we've got to add component, physics 2D, and rigid body 2D. The reason behind this is so that we can add physics to the bullet. So we've created our bullets. So now I'm going to turn that into a prefab. So if we go to our prefabs folder, uh, and then I'm going to right click, go to create and prefab. Uh, I'm going to call this bullet and all we do is click the bullet and drag it onto our bullet prefab. So now if we click our bullet prefab you'll see that it's got our jelly bean uh, sprite on it. It's also got the uh, polygon collider and it's also got our rigid body. So we've created our bullet prefab now we've got to create our bullet spawner. So I'm going to create a script, but before that, I'm going to go to our tank and create an empty object. And I'm going to call this spawn point. So the reason behind this is that we need a point to spawn the bullets on. So I'm going to move the spawn point roughly to the end of our cannon. And so we can see it. I'm going to add a icon onto it just like we did for our ground check. So what I'm going to do next is create another script. So right click, create, C sharp script, and I'm going to call this bullet underscore spawn. And I'm going to open that up. Just going to get rid of all this. Um, so there's two things that we need to access. The spawn points transform component and we need to access the bullet prefab. So, so to access the uh, bullet prefab, we're going to create a public game object with a capital G and O. And we're going to call this bullet. Now to access the spawn points transform component, we're going to create a public transform and I'm going to call this spawn point. 
So now the function we're going to be using is the fixed update. So void fixed update, open and close brackets, uh, curly brackets, and enter. So in order to spawn the object, we need to create our input button. We're going to be using the same thing as our jump button. So bool, and I'm going to call this shoot. And that's going to equal input dot get button down, open brackets, quotations. And the button we're going to be using is fire with a capital F one. So the default button that this is uh, linked to is our left click. So now we've so now we've created our input. We're going to create an if statement for what happens when we press our shoot button. So if open brackets shoot, we're going to instantiate, which means clone an object, and then we do open brackets. And the object we're going to be instantiating is our bullet game object. So bullet. And then we do comma. And the position that we're going to be doing it at is our spawn points position. So spawn point dot position. And the rotation of the uh, bullet is going to be our spawn points rotation. So spawn point dot rotation. And there we go, that's pretty much it. So if we save that and go back to Unity and then we add our bullet spawn to our tank. So we need our bullet object. Uh, we don't need our jelly bean red anymore. So I'm gonna get rid of that. So we select our tank and the object we wanna spawn is our prefab. So I'm gonna open our prefab folder and I'm gonna click and drag our bullet onto the uh, bullet game object. And I'm then going to click and drag our spawn point object onto our bullet spawn script. So if I run the game, we can now spawn the bullets. So that's it for today's video. Feel free to tune back next time where we'll be uh, making the bullets fire off in the distance. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Unity 3D. My name is Joshua Mutu and thanks for watching. Thank you.